Virginia. Does everybody know what we call Salem, Virginia? Championship City! Time to win the national championship, Virginia, and elect Donald J. Trump President of the United States. Man, there's a lot of you out there. So, you know, something amazing happened last week, and I knew that this race was over. I saw President Donald J. Trump wearing an orange vest. Now, you know, I prefer red. But when I saw him with that vest on, I said, that's brilliant, he's gonna win. <laughs> what a moment. What a moment when we see our future president standing with Americans saying, I am one of you, you can trust me. My friends, we are all here standing in a commonwealth of Virginia that is eternally grateful. And you heard Congressman Griffith mention Southwest Virginia, and let me just stop for a minute and talk about the amazing men and women in Southwest Virginia. On that Saturday morning after Hurricane Helene blew through. I found myself in Damascus. And we were holding hands and praying and thankful that the Lord had spared just about everyone. We had two tragic deaths, but we had so many, so many lives saved. Our first responders did things that no one could imagine, over a hundred life-saving rescues. Our first responders run to danger when others run away. Our first responders said, send me. Our first responders saved lives in Tennessee, saved lives in Virginia. God bless our first responders. Vir Virginians came together. You know, lots of people, when they lose everything, might give up. Not Virginians. Lots of people, when they lose everything, might in fact run away. Not Virginians. And that's because Virginians are tough. Virginians have grit. Virginians understand that when things are rough, we fight, fight, fight. That's what we do. But I want to ask all of you, do not forget about Southwest Virginia. They have a long haul in front of them. They need our support, our financial support, our prayers, our volunteers. They need it, and they're going to need it for a while. But I will tell you this, I know one thing. Southwest Virginia will be better tomorrow than it was yesterday. My friends, if you didn't know it, elections have consequences. <laughs> they have consequences which we have seen can be dire. Virginia was staring into the abyss in 2021. 
We were looking at a Virginia that had seen for nine years in a row more people move away than move here from the other 49 states. They were voting with their feet, saying no more in Virginia. We saw Virginia with a 20-year high in murder rate. We saw a Virginia where businesses were lined up and ready to leave. We saw a Virginia where bureaucrats and politicians were telling parents, you don't matter. My friends, elections have consequences. And Virginians came together in such a way that it shocked the nation and shocked the world. You hired the nation's best attorney general in Jason Meares. You hired the nation's best lieutenant governor in Winsome Earl Sears. And my friends, I cannot tell you how honored that I am that you hired me to serve all of you as your governor. But you see, elections have consequences. Because of Virginia that was bottom third in the nation in job growth, of Virginia that, yes, saw companies moving away left, right, and center, of Virginia that provided no hope, turned into the best business state in the nation. More people working today than ever in the history of the Commonwealth. 250,000 more people working today. 250,000 people that have experienced the second most powerful words in the English language. You know, the most powerful words in the English language are, I love you. But the second most powerful words in the English language are, you are hired. There is dignity in work. There is optimism in work. There is future in work. And my friends, Virginia's got jobs. <laughs> Lots of them. We saw a Virginia with a 20-year high in murder rate. And let me tell you, when we back the blue, crime goes down. And in Virginia, we back the blue. We saw Virginia where parents were pushed out of their lives. Well, let me tell you, our children know two truths. One, parents matter. And two, we love them, and we're going to make sure that their parents continue to matter. That's what we're going to do. My friends, Virginia's roaring. More people working than ever. Over $80 billion of commitments from companies who are already here to invest more, companies that are moving. And let me tell you, in 2023, for the first time in 10 years, 23,000 more people moved to Virginia than moved away. They want to live here. And let me tell you, along the way, we declared our independence from California. You choose what car you want to drive. Along the way, we declared $5 billion of tax relief for Virginians. It's your money, not government's. Along the way, we told our veterans, we want you here, not moving away, because you are the fabric of our communities. God bless our veterans. My friends, elections have consequences. This past General Assembly, 
You all gifted me with a veto pen, and I used it 200 times to protect your rights, to protect our Constitution. Virginia is soaring. We have seen the difference between the progressive left policies of old and the common sense conservatism of today, and Virginia is winning. And then we've seen our nation over the last three years. We watched our nation suffer, a nation that truly has been and must be the greatest nation on the face of the earth. A nation that when Donald Trump was president had the most rip-roaring economy that lifted up all Americans. A nation that had a secure border. A nation that projected strength around the world. A nation that was the envy of the world. And Kamala Harris broken. My friends, Donald Trump's economy had high growth and low inflation. My friends, Donald Trump's economy saw more employment than we have seen. Donald Trump's economy understood that low inflation means more money in your pocket. Donald Trump's economy understands that money belongs to you not the government. And yet, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris unleashed that genie of inflation, unleashed that inflation that steals the hard-earned money of Virginians and Americans. My friend, Kamala Harris broke it, but Donald Trump will fix it. During Donald Trump's presidency, we had a secure border. They remained in Mexico, and they were not caught and released. My friends, every state was not a border state. And as your governor, I see every day five Virginians die of fentanyl overdoses. I see a box truck driven by two Jordanian illegal immigrants try to crash the front gate at Marine Corps Base Quantico. I see our young people sexually assaulted by illegal immigrants. My friends, we had a secure border. Our borders are Kamala Harris broke it and Donald Trump will fix it. My friends, when Donald Trump was president, there were no new wars. And I will tell you, if he were president today, we would not have war in Ukraine, we would not have war in the Middle East, and China would not be threatening Taiwan because they understand that America would be strong. And that's the way it was when Donald Trump was president. And then Joe Biden, and Kamala Harris evacuated Afghanistan and not only sacrificed 13 American heroes, but my friends, they put us on a path to a weak America and global chaos. When Donald Trump was president, the world was at peace, and Joe Biden and Kamala Harris broke it, and Donald Trump will fix it. Elections have consequences, and we have seen the consequences play out every single day as we have watched weakness from Joe Biden and Kamala Harris impact every single person in America. They broke it. Donald Trump will fix it. Now, my friends in Virginia, we know how to win elections. 
They told me back in 2021, no Republican can win statewide in Virginia. And we stood up and said, no, we are going to win, and we won. And so I need to ask you to do five things. Five things between now and on Tuesday. Number one, if you have not voted, get out and vote. Get out and vote. How many people have voted early? Wow. How about that? That is called a show of hands of strength. If you have not voted, I know you're going to vote. Get out and vote today by 7 o'clock, or you better show up on Tuesday, or I'll know. Go vote. Second thing I need you to do is get 10 friends out to vote. Every single person in here, 10 friends. Nobody's sitting next to you. 10 other friends. Get them to the polls, and if they're not voting on Tuesday, pick them up in your car and take them to vote. Get out the vote. Third thing I need you to do is I need you to put a sign in your yard and wear a hat like all of these folks here. Get a bumper sticker because we will win. Trump will fix it. 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 Fourth thing I need you to do, if you are not volunteering at the polls, I need you to volunteer. Why? I need you to be there with one of those sample ballots so that everybody knows that in addition to voting for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance, they are voting for a hung cow for Senate. They are voting for Morgan Lewis or Ben Klein or John McGuire or Jen Kiggins or Derek Anderson for Congress. And they are going to keep voting Republican all the way down. My friends, there are lots of school board races on the ballot. There is nothing more important than to elect common sense conservatives to our school boards for the future of our children. Last thing I need you to do is pray with me. My friends, there is a moment where we have done all we can do. We've voted. We've gotten 10 friends. We have put signs in yards. We have volunteered. We've donated. And what's left when we have nothing more is prayer. And so, my friends, if you would all take off your caps right now and let's pray together over this election in our country, dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today in faith. And when you say that two or three are gathered in your name, you promise us you will be among us. And we ask you, Father, be among us today. We ask you to wrap every one of our candidates in a hedge of protection, wrap their families in a hedge of protection, give them the strength allow their message to be heard, wipe the scales off of voters' eyes so that they can see truth. Father, we ask you to bless our nation. We love you, and we know you love us. Father, let your will be done, and God bless the United States of America. Amen. My friends, for those of you that may hail from one of the other 12 former colonies, I am sorry, I'm an unabashedly proud Virginian. It all started in Virginia, and this Tuesday we are going to show the world that Virginia leads again. From the immortal words of Patrick Henry, I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death.
We have people asking, what do we believe? We believe that we have unalienable rights that are granted by an almighty God, not by a king and not by a dictator. And among these unalienable rights are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Virginians, it is time to lead again. On Tuesday, we are going to extend our lead in the House. We are going to flip the Senate, and we are going to put strength back in the White House with Donald J. Trump. God bless you.